I want to be, we're running out of time, but I can't let you go um, without talking about another um, big passion of yours. As I mentioned before, this is your second appearance on Capehart. Your first was back in 2018. That's that ago? five years ago. Five years ago, um, and you came on to talk about the race card project, which you created in 2010 when you were at NPR. Um, you have a book coming out in January entitled Our Hidden Conversations, based on what you learned from the race card project. With a decade's worth of real stories, mm -hmm. what did you learn? Um, what did you learn about race from those conversations? Well, the biggest lesson I learned is I created the Race Card Project because I thought no one wanted to talk about race, and I was wrong. The biggest lesson I learned is that a lot of people actually do want to talk about it, and they don't want to necessarily participate in these big, um, roiling debates about critical race theory and affirmative action. Yes, that's part of the conversation, but so many of the stories that we've collected, we collected more than 500,000 stories, and about a thousand of them are in the book along with essays that that I wrote, 13 essays that I wrote. But people write to us about very intimate things. They write about their kids. They write about their marriage. They write about what happened to them in the break room in their job. They write about their commute, about what happens when they travel and they're passing through TSA or what they do or do not see when they're looking out the window you know, on a on a trip back home. I mean, the, the stories are very intimate and very candid. And it's allowed me to really understand America better. Because so often when we talk about race, and Jonathan, you know this from the work that you do, we're often whipsawed by the controversy of the moment. And we don't spend as much time listening to people talk about the things that confine or define them you know, in issues around race. I've learned that a lot of people are really just struggling to figure it out. A lot of the questions, a lot of the six word stories come to us. I collect stories about race and it starts with six words and then people often explain the backstory when they send us their their submissions. Um, a lot of them come in the form of a question. People are just scratching their heads trying to figure it out. And they find us often because they turn to Google to ask a very candid and intimate question about, you know, I'm raising a mixed race child. How do I do their hair? Um, I'd like to speak up at work, but I'm afraid people will think I'm an idiot or that they'll think that I'm racist. They don't turn to their spouse or their best friend or their coworker. They type a question into Google or Bing or whatever search engine they use. And they find the race card project and they wind up sharing their story because we asked them, how did you find us? And so many times they say Google search or something like this. So it tells me that there's this big conversation that's happening underground that we usually don't have access to because it's the conversation mm -hmm. about race that you never get to hear. And that's why I'm so excited to share this book because people will now be able to tap into that. <laughs>